Dan Jibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey One. Good vibrations. Here to tell you how an open wire transmission line can not leak any radiation, not leak any RF to speak of, even though the wires are right out there in free space. Now, I've made another video showing how coaxial cable, even though it has a tubular shield that you would think would keep all the RF in, doesn't necessarily do that. And the converse of that is that an open wire transmission line, even though the wires are right out there in free space, for all intents and purposes, when you properly operate a balanced open wire transmission line, it will not radiate nor pick up any appreciable amount of external RF energy, at least uh, as, as long as it's several wire spacings away. The wire separation of an open wire line, incidentally, ranges from about one centimeter to as much as 10 centimeters or sometimes even 20 centimeters. Uh, I have uh, in inches that's about three quarters of an inch to maybe six or eight inches uh, and the wire gauge is typically number 16, 14, or 12 although I've seen you can make open wire line with copper tubing as the um, conductors uh, as long as the wires are parallel, as long as there are no obstructions nearby that can conduct, and by nearby I mean within several wire spacings, say approximately 10 wire spacings, that would be 10 to 100 centimeters or so away from the wire, as long as you keep conducting objects away from the wire, as long as you connect it to a balanced load, a truly balanced load. Uh, I made another video called uh, The Ideal Open Wire Dipole. I believe that was the title of the video, uh, wherein each side of the antenna, each wire, each conductor, should see exactly the same impedance as the other side, the only difference being that um, uh, they're mirror images of one another and I can see already that I've made a mistake here with this I don't know uh, I think I'll just erase these arrows they were they're supposed to be pointing in opposite directions and I made them pointing in the same direction that is the other thing about uh, open wire line at every point on the line the current in the line should be in the two wires should be equal in magnitude but opposite in direction and because RF is high frequency or very high frequency alternating current as you move along the line you're going to get more or less current and the direction is going to periodically reverse but the current in the top wire if it goes to the right and has a certain intensity then the current in the bottom wire should go to the left with the same intensity so the currents are the current patterns and the current intensities are exactly the same in each wire except always in opposite directions and when you have that situation each wire will radiate RF energy it, it acts like a long wire antenna in effect or a random wire antenna but they're running parallel to each other these two quote antennas unquote and the currents and the RF energy in them at every point is always in phase opposition they cancel each other out therefore these two radiated or received RF fields uh, radiated or picked up by these wires they cancel out because the spacing is only a tiny fraction of a wavelength and that's important this wire separation s must be a tiny fraction far less even than one percent say a tenth of a percent 
of the wavelength. And as long as those conditions are all met, then the two RF fields radiated or received by these wires will cancel each other out completely all along the length of the line. It's only when you get to the load and say you decide that you want to run conductors. Um, like, for example, here we go, off in either direction, conductors. Well, that's a straight wire, isn't it? For example, an open wire dipole. Exactly equal and opposite impedances and the antenna, we've uh, discussed how the antenna should affect the feed line. The radiation from the antenna should be picked up or received by the feed line with equal intensity in both wires all along the, these points. So. Uh, equal intensity but opposite phase and so you will see uh, cancellation of the energy from the antenna along the wire and cancellation of the antenna to the energy along the uh, uh, to the uh, antenna along the wire along the feed line so the feed line does not leak any RF even though it's right out there in free space only when you get to the antenna will it leak RF because that, of course, is precisely what an antenna is designed to do. And ideally, it will leak all of the RF into free space where it will travel far and wide into the mysterious cosmos and allow you to communicate with beings of a nature you have yet to imagine. Stan Jibalisco W1GV saying 73, which means best regards in ham radio jargon, and so long, which, in my native CW fist, shall forever after mean da 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 da.